sponsored by Penn State York. It's the Beat at Five. Now, here's Joe. Hey guys, welcome back to Feed at Five with your hashtag of the day, tweets you may have missed, and a great way to start the week. I'm Jones, let's feed! First up, CBS News tweets, Scientists develop artificial skin that can not only feel pressure, but send signals to the brain. Creepy. Did they rip the whole pressure tech from the iPhone 6S? New York Public Library tweets, We're digitizing stacks of documents from early American history. That's a little self-defeating for a library. Don't you think? On the other hand, adapt or die. Fortune tweets, are you ready to 3D print your engagement ring? This startup says, yes. Some assembly required, diamonds not included. See website for details and hope you don't have a power outage while printing. Congratulations. Fortune tweets, a Hong Kong super tutor just turned down an $11 million job offer. Hopefully this person isn't tutoring anyone in business, cause wow. Your hashtag of the day brought to you by Penn State York is BAM! Check it out. MTV News tweets, Some guy in Canada just invented a hoverboard that can fly 16 feet in the air. And just in time for the Back to the Future date. I love how they call him Some Guy. When asked why 16 feet, he replied, I don't know, why don't you ask Some Other Guy? Forbes tweets, imagine being trapped in a 62 mile long traffic jam that lasted 12 days. At that point, wouldn't it be a contender for the record for the world's largest parking lot? Kinda looks like a scene from a Left Behind movie. And lastly, Elle Magazine tweets, Selena Gomez wore 10 different outfits in just two days. Well, if they're really paying that close attention, Selena, I would just go ahead and wear as many outfits as possible in one day just to see what the headline would be the next day. All right, everyone, that's our show. Thanks for stopping on by. Until tomorrow, I'm Jones. Stay loud.